everybody. That's that's the most important thing in sitting volleyball. Yeah, every part, of, everybody can can do this sport, and that's that's uh, that's why it's a full inclusive uh, kind of sport. So uh, yes, I started uh, as an. Uh, assistant coach uh, in 2016, together with the head coach Michael Merten. I, I know him from my uh, time I spent in Munich for 15 years. And uh, yes, it was a great experience to start with the national team. I had a contract uh, with uh, the German uh, Disability Sports organization uh, till uh, 2020 when uh, uh, the Paralympic Games uh, should start and uh, uh, yeah we we reached the sixth place in Tokyo and uh, after that I'm I'm more in the background now and uh, uh, doing some organizational stuff uh, for the team more uh, now involved in, in my hometown volleyball team uh, to, to support them and, and uh, um, coach the youth teams uh, in the whole club. So the head coach uh, come to me and said, here's a, a very nice project, uh, are you interested in? And uh, if I heard that, uh, uh, I said, okay, that's, that's nice, that's good. Uh, I, will, I will try to help and support uh, and give support in this project from me. Yeah. I will make it and uh, yeah, so we started in um, Cannes with the first meeting and uh, that's my relationship. The goals from Para Volley are that, that we will uh, cr create more national teams also in, in, in all European countries. So um, um, I think it's a good way to, to promote the sport and, and to, to create some, some multipliers in other countries where uh, uh, the sport is uh, not so well known. We have, we have around about 12 or 13 clubs in Germany and uh, uh, also I think uh, eight or ten clubs for, for women sitting volleyball and uh, we are now uh, since one year we created a new youth team under 24 years old. Uh, it's a mixed up team with uh, girls and boys and uh, disabled and also uh, uh, able-bodied people. So, and also my daughter is uh, playing there. <laughs> um, I also started uh, to build a new team uh, since last year in my hometown. You have to be patient and, and ha have to wait and have to contact uh, a lot of people in the hospitals and, and in, in, in some physio uh, um, uh, buildings and so on. And uh, uh, it's uh, uh, um, also difficult to find uh, youth players. Okay, I think in Germany uh, the acceptance is um, uh, good. Yeah, uh, we um, we have an extra uh, special uh, sport organization for uh, disability sports in Germany. So uh, we uh, and this organization is financed by the government. Um, so, uh, in Germany we support a lot of uh, disability sports.
I told yesterday the participants uh, of this course uh, that I uh, traveled many times to Iran. So, uh, and they, they have uh, around about 120 uh, sitting volleyball clubs there uh, in, in three different uh, uh, divisions or leagues. And uh, I, was, I was there um, um, when we were played there, uh, the World Super 6 tournament, uh, and uh, there were, were around about 2,000 uh, people in the audience and and uh, and they they were so fanatic and and uh, uh, it's uh, it's a very important kind of sport in Iran and and uh, um, yeah uh, that was uh, a great experience for me and a positive one <laughs>